back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing how it's practically impossible to get the banner with this night rework so now adding the banner in case some of you didn't know but i'm sure we all do they added a new feature uh that adding the a banner spawn time multiplier based on the patrol length so longer patrol the longer it takes for the banner to spawn by two times so they didn't rework this one add-on that increases the time it takes for the stanner to spawn by 15%. So practically making that flag impossible to spawn in. We're going to do it with Call of Arms because Call of Arms makes our patrols 10 meters. It increases the patrol length by 10 meters pretty much. So we're practically making that base hit banner even better with the add-on. I'm just going to do no way out. Uh, each time I hook a survivor, I get a token. Each token grants me 12 seconds of an exit gate. So it blocks the exit gate for 12 seconds, depending on how many tokens I have. Deadlock. Each time a generator is... Every time one generator is finished repairing, the next one with the most progress blocks for 25 seconds. Grand Brace, same thing. Four tokens. Each token blocks uh, generators. Uh... Once I have the four tokens, pretty much blocks generous for 40 seconds and reveals my obsessions or for six seconds. And then surprise of the shadows just to give me information of areas and where to set patrols and stuff like that. So let's get started in today's video. Damn, bad hand, bro. All right. Every guard. So something they didn't really include in the patch notes, which might be a bug. But, if I rotate through one guard, every guard has a cooldown. So, it makes me think I need to be more wise while patrolling with guards. Hopefully we can make the walking to that in time. Ah, just shy, man. That's fine. So here, I'll show you what I mean. So now I have to wait 10 seconds for the rest of my guards to show up. So I gotta, I gotta be super wise on how I control. I get the most out of my guards. I thought. Okay, well, at least we got rid of that. There's really no reason for him to camp it. Okay, let's go to assassin here. Up to the corner of that map. Should get the down here. Ah! I got it in time. Hopefully, before a gen pops, though. We should get a hit, right? Nice. There's no really pallets down here for her. Okay, we're gonna go with Jailer. Because I think... I think they're gonna probably push this middle gen, right? If they don't, it's fine. Looks like they're not. Oops. Keep bumping into stuff here. Okay, that's fine. We still have a solid three gen over here. Let's get rid of this. Go with our assassin now.
Tear gang gents done now. That might be a hit, it might not be. It's not. That's fine. It's not really looking good for us right now, though. Let's hope we can get that down there. Maybe white on this gen, eh? It's not the white box. I think we can catch this Mikayla. She's positioned really bad. <laughs> so we're gonna give this Jenna a kick. And just... Maybe, just maybe. Nice. Let's hope our assassin can do something for us here. Nice, beautiful. Killer instinct. That's beautiful. That's what I love about rotating. That guy that's likely to get me a down got me a down. Oh, there, there. Pick her up. Fairly quick, man. Nice. Uh, we're gonna go back with Jailer here. We're gonna patrol like this. Yeah, we know someone's going for save again. We gotta make save just a little complicated for the team here. This is perfect. You know what? Yeah, let's go with Assassin. Go like this. Perfect, it's on Neo. We're gonna go pick up Sable. Mm -hmm. I thought that was Mikhail. Nice! Beautiful, dude. Okay, let's put White on his second stage here. Now we know Michaela can't work on a gen cover because of German Grace. We hear Michaela. We have the pressure going right now. He almost wiggled out. We're gonna patrol him like this. Nice, that's Michaela there. We know that much. I think she's a little scared to go for a save. Assassin's really needed in this situation here in Shaq. That's gonna spawn right on top of her. Oh, she's dead. Alright. Okay, this is perfect. This is what we're talking about. This is what I mean Knight got buffed. You're telling me... I can choose the guard that fits me best in, a, in the situation I'm in. This is beautiful, man. This is what I'm talking about. This is like the best change they made tonight. Being able to rotate between guards. <laughs> so look at this pressure. I can choose the guard that fits me. Like, Jayla fits me perfect for this situation. This is perfect. And there we go. We can... Let's, uh... Don't know where she went. Oh, she went to pick up the table. Let's go pick up Mia then. This is perfect. I can choose each guard fits in a certain situation you're in. And I get to choose which guard. I know which guard which What I'm trying to say is I know which guard's gonna help me in the situation I'm in. The fact that I can choose that guard makes Knight strong. That's what makes Knight strong. Let's go for the injury here. Side with Sable. Just shy. Hmm. I didn't think she'd want to run into me like that. Let's go back the hook. Alright, 
we know that's Nia there. So this is what we'll do. Okay, we hear Nia. Let's go pick up Mikaela, actually. Pretty open. I like this one for night. I'm gonna switch over. Another thing I realize is that the uh, it confuses survivor. I don't know. That's definitely a bug. Survivors think I have. Don't know which card I actually have in rotation. Which is definitely a bug because it is intentional to uh, tell survivors which card you have. Unfortunately, the spy in the shadows didn't activate there for me, right? She thought that perk would just save her there. That's pretty bad patrol on my ends. Actually, I think. Yeah, I think Car Phoenix is a pretty good option for me right now. Yeah. She was greeting. She was greeting earlier, so I figured she'd want to greet. Push her like this, because she probably still wants to go for a save, right? Yep. Which gem did we do? Nice. She wanted to get flagged, but it was taking a while for it to spawn in, so... Is Ormond different? Nothing about Ormond feels different, right? Well, we know she can't really loop there. Hold on. Ormond feels different. different where is this survivor doing this gen she's not going for save at least really need to choose a hook closer to our gens, but it's kind of hard to do that right now. No, she does have that perk. Now it's not active. What's her game plan here? 
Nice. Are they healing by hook? They are. Good pull for the pull too, so that's a pretty long chase. Nice, we got the hit. Okay, I didn't realize they changed Stormwind. I hook her right here. It's actually a really good hook. It's by her. Well, not anymore, actually. Hold on, someone did a gen here. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna lock this down like this. From that side. Yeah, we're forcing them to make a play here. We gotta put the Sarahs under pressure here. Oh man, no bigger mistake than that. Honestly. Okay, at least we knew we blocked our way from Shaq. That was a pretty bad mistake there for me. Okay, nice. Bolts that she's dead, dude. Oh, she might have had balance. <laughs> nice. Probably is dead. Nice. Assassin's just perfect now. Actually, this hill hook might be good for us. This one a good kick. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's gonna be a hit. We're gonna cut her down like this. I don't think she expected it to be a hit either. But success is so good now. If I'm correct, is Laura, Laura is dead, right? <laughs> she is. Good, good time to get a kill. We're gonna reuse Jailer here. I'm probably gonna patrol from from here. Like, I'm gonna block out like this. <laughs> perfect, perfect. <laughs> she blew up the gen. That's actually good for us. Hmm, I misread her. She messed up. So that's this is good for us. Now the flag decides to spawn in. That's pretty crazy. Let's 
break this. <laughs> and she dies. This is genuinely... Okay, so... <clears throat> The McKill is kind of hard to find at the end of the game, so let me know what you guys think about the night changes. I know some of you already gave me your opinions when I posted that I got P100 back on my community post, but um, let me know what you guys think overall. I think the cooldown's a little harsh. Excuse me. Ignore the whiffs, okay? I was just seeing she had dead hard. Um, <clears throat> anyways... Uh, yes, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I think the cooldown can be a little harsh, as I was saying, because, you know, when you're Miss Patrol, for example, with Jailer, you have to wait 24 seconds for him to leave, and then another 10. So, it can be a little harsh. Uh, I think Knight has one of the most punishing powers when you don't use it right, especially with the newer cooldown. But I, I still like the Knight. Um, I think those 10 seconds is something I'll get used to, and... Uh, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really used to having each guard, it's so, you can just choose which guard to have in a situation, and you know what guard, once you understand the guard's strength and weaknesses, you know which guard can help you in the situation you're in, so I, I think the knight's really good, he's buffed, I hope we can get the PTB cooldown, it was much better, um, but yeah, give me your overall thoughts, and I think this is my favorite add-on for knight, um, it's really fun. It makes banner practically impossible. Sometimes survivors go back for the banner and it just doesn't show up. But yeah, let me go. <clears throat> Sorry, wow. I'm going to go now. I keep stuttering and weird stuff is happening to my throat. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next upload.